morning everybody i hope you're all doing well today i thought i would do a bit of a day in the life vlog because i've got a lot going on also i know how much you guys love watching my like satisfying cleaning videos and don't you worry the stables and the yard and at the horses is just it is disgusting it is pure filth it's not looking good so i thought i would later on show me kind of cleaning it up making it all satisfying and tidy that kind of thing um, but first off i thought i would show you a bit of my morning routine i'm currently at the cottage just woken up and i'm getting really hungry now so i'm going to make myself some breakfast <laughs> complete. I went for something really random today. I was gonna go for fried egg on toast and then the fried egg, like you know like the yolk, it's split in half so it just kind of became like a flat egg on toast I guess. I also had some roasted tomatoes. It's weird, I like tomatoes but I feel like they're just ten times better roasted with a bit of salt and pepper and then I also had some jam on toast as well so very weird mixture but it was good. Also while I'm in my bathroom here I thought I would show you what I've been up to lately so I have actually got these cute little bottles and i put all of my things on this is the the body wash one there we go um but i just feel like all of them lined up on the shelf how satisfying is that i love like doing little satisfying things like that and just making everything look kind of put together especially when things are not like oh my gosh you should not see what my dressing room is looking like at the moment filthy so i don't know if i'm even going to show you that maybe i should I'll do, that can be the first satisfying tidy up of the vlog. Um, but anyway, first thing to do is do my skincare, get myself ready for the day, brush my teeth. I've been recently trying out, what is it? Oh, don't even want to look in there. Look at that cupboard. Like, it's just, it's not organised. Everything just gonna, kind of gets shoved in. But I've been using the Bioma skincare recently. I've been trying that out. I love trying new skincare, new products, that kind of thing. So I'll keep you updated. But anyway. Time to get ready for the day. Alrighty, I am now out of my pyjamas. I'm just wearing an all black outfit because if I'm going to be doing cleaning, I know that especially the wash bay, oh my gosh, that is disgusting anyway um thought i would show you what my kind of dressing room is looking like at the moment because that is also very messy i mean i have like coats and makeup that needs putting away i have clothes i have this is basically a whole haul of sort of autumn fashion i was in london the other day for a radio interview which was really cool on bbc london um but anyway afterwards i did a little bit of shopping i had time for um so if you want to see like a autumn fashion full clothes haul let me know because i did pick up quite a few pieces which i really really love anyway i'm gonna give this room a little bit of a tidy and then it'll be time to head over to the horses So I am now at the stables. The horses have had their breakfast. Oh, just got into a pine tree there. Um, they're all out in the field and I thought I'd just show you Mickey and Duke because they're looking very adorable. Here they are. Little Dukey is hiding behind Mickey. Here he is. Duke, do you want to say hello? Oh, Mickey's like, I am the star of the show. I need to be in the front. Um, ignore his head collar. This is his field one. Duke likes to kind of chew on this bit and hang off it. So um, this is what it's looking like at the moment, aren't you? You're a little troublemaker. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it slipped off then. Um, but anyway, they're all doing very well. Thought I'd do a little pony update. Um, Mickey's doing very well as well. But anyway, the first thing I need to do now is tidy my tack room because it is looking awful. 
So yeah, the tack room has looked better, it's fair to say. I've got all of my lunging stuff here that's just dumped on the floor. I've got a Lemure box because I've been recently shooting the new Autumn Winter collection and then this box has just kind of become a bit of a dumping ground. I have loads of saddle pads that need to be put away. That wardrobe needs to be shut and have things put in there. And then I've just kind of kind of got a bit of a mess pile up there as well. So there is a lot to be tidied. Is looking so much better now. I've got all my helmets, I dusted all of the back of there so that's a lot nicer because it was getting pretty nasty and then around here this kind of like countertop basically just ended up being a little bit of a dumping ground so anywhere that didn't have a place would end up on top of there and it's now all empty. It looks so much better. I've got all my saddle pads hung up. The tack room just feels so fresh, so nice and hopefully it will stay like this for a little bit longer. But anyway, the next thing I need to do is the wash bay. Welcome to my very crusty, dusty, and hairy wash bay because I gave Casper a full clip the other day and I tell you what, I haven't properly washed away or brushed away all of the little hairs. I mean, I did scoop them up into a bucket, but when you clip a horse, it just, like here you can see, it just doesn't go away. The hair is there forever. So I'm gonna do my very best to try and scrub it away. I might even have to wash the mats, maybe with a bit of like baby shampoo or something like that. Also in the corners, I just have, again, a little bit of a dumping ground where things have got a bit hectic. And then again, another bit of a dumping ground over here too. So the wash bay does need some love. It needs some attention, needs some care. So hopefully in a little while, it will be looking spick and span. it is looking a lot lot better i also dusted all of my sort of lotions and potions up on here because they always get so dusty and then yeah it is all clean i can actually like see black mats rather than just like a layer of grime and casper's hair and coat and that kind of thing so it's looking really good i'm very happy it's been disgusting for so long so 
kind of forgot what it looked like when it was actually clean. It's, it got to that level. It was bad, guys. Um, especially as I feel like this whole summer, we had such bad weather over here in the UK. And both Joey and Casper have just rolled in the mud, in the rain. They've been so filthy. So I've had to use the wash bay like most days, getting them clean. So it's looking 10 times better now. So I've just loaded all of my tack and everything ready for my ride with Joey today into the back of the horse box. We're taking him for a jumping lesson, which I'm really looking forward to. The saddle pad colour of the day, because you guys always ask, is the beautiful, oh my gosh, we've got a mental blank now. Mulberry, Mulberry, yes. Is it Mulberry? Oh my gosh, this is such an old one. I think it came out in, I want to say 2018 or 2019. I remember it was the first like autumn winter color where I started working with Lumiere as a brand. Oh my gosh, it's falling down now. Something I've actually really been enjoying lately is wearing like an all neutral outfit. So today I'm wearing all black and then having like a pop of colors so having like one really bright saddle pad. So today we have the mulberry as my bright saddle pad. But anyway, I need to get Joey ready and then we need to go soon because I'm running a little bit late. I have a Joey, he is clean, and we now need to go to our lesson because we're running a bit late, aren't we? Are you excited to do some jumping? Yes? Good man. Mwah. Yes, licky boy. You ready? Oh, you ready? Steady. Here you go, go, go. Jimmy, you're gonna have to move your bum over a little bit. There we go. See you later. My saddle. I always feel, feel like I forget something. I do think I have everything though. I mean, it looks alright. We'll be fine. I was done growing up, had enough of chasing down the sun, but suddenly I can see everything. so double the fun um, ready to get him picking his legs up and he felt so good over the fences and it's not like because they were I don't know it's difficult to explain but basically since his injury we haven't really done any like big courses with him yet we've kind of stuck it to our comfort height which is around 80 90 so we did a bit, a bit of a bigger fence today and he did so well and we're starting to both get our confidence back a little bit more with jumping and getting there and feeling good um our last jumping session wasn't the best it's safe to say i just felt like i didn't really have much of a horse underneath me he was very lethargic very tired and of course with horses you have times where you have good days you have bad days last week was a bit of a not so good one this week was a good one so if you're having a difficult time with your horse just remember there are better days ahead but anyway he was very good we are on our way home and i think he deserves a lot of treats So I have some treats for the baby. Here is the superstar. He was a very, very good boy. Sorry, can only really just see his little snoot? There we go. There we go. I mean, you've got quite a big head. He's got a very big head for the size of him. And he's got very long ears as well. So 
I'm just giving the little treat monster his snackage. There we go. Oh, go for it, boy. There we go. He's very slobbery, but I'm very, very proud of you, Joey. You're a good boy. I'm gonna put him back out in the field with his friends. Yes, thank you. Okay, he's getting he's getting treat excited now. He's like, girl, where are they? Give me more. <laughs> That's all your treats for today. I'm sure he'll get some later. I'm gonna put him in put him to Betty Buys. Yes. Good man. I'm now back in the office. The rest of the day hasn't really been like overly interesting, so I haven't done much vlogging. So I've had a meeting, that was really good. And then the rest of the day, I've literally just been like editing the vlog that you guys are watching now. So that's a little bit meta. But anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Let me know if you would like to see any more barn vlogs. I really enjoyed filming this one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.